Unity. Part 3. Graphics. No code this time. Just lots of menus. Also, it's optional. Ready? Step 1. Color space. Open Unity. Go to Edit. Project settings. Layer. Other settings. Color space. Linear. What did that do? I'll show you. Gamma. Linear. Gamma. Linear. Gamma. Linear. Got it? Good. Step 2. Camera. Select it. Change projection to orthographic. Now it looks 2D. But wait. Why have a 3D game that looks 2D? I have some plans. Change clear flags to solid color. Change background to black. Step 3. Lighting. Select your directional light, which is like the sun. Change its color to white. Now click window. Rendering. Lighting. Click environment. Change source to solid color and set that color to gray to add gray light everywhere. Ambience. Step 4. Post processing. Click window. Package manager. In this drop down, select Unity Registry. Find post processing. Click install. Select your camera, add a component, post process layer, set its layer to transparent effects, and anti-aliasing to FXAA to smooth out edges. Now create a game object, right click, create empty, call it post processing, set its layer to transparent effects, add a component, post process volume, check is global, click new profile, add an override, color grading, choose ASUS, it makes the colors look cinematic, add another override, bloom, set intensity to 1, and threshold to 1.5, we'll use this later to make things glow, or if you lower the threshold now, you can make everything glow, like a 20. 18 Minecraft shader pack. We're done. That was a lot. Yes, these are all optional steps that aren't usually in beginner tutorials. So if you don't care, don't do it. But if you do care, I'd suggest playing around with these options and also checking out LMH Poly. And in part four, we'll add jumping. Have you heard of my game, by the way?